Hi, I'm Rachel, and I'm a heart failure educator. If you've been diagnosed with heart failure, you probably have a lot of questions about what heart failure means and what you can do to manage it. The good news is that there's a lot you can do to manage your heart failure, ease your symptoms, and improve your quality of life. You're not alone. Nearly six million people in the U.S. have heart failure. Many of them are managing their conditions so they can enjoy life, and you can too. What does heart failure mean? It's important to know that it does not mean your heart is about to stop working or that you're about to die. Heart failure simply means that something is wrong with the heart muscle. Either the heart muscle is weak and doesn't pump well, or it's stiff and doesn't relax well between beats. Either way, it means your heart can't pump enough blood, and that leads to heart failure symptoms. Heart failure usually doesn't happen overnight. It's more often a gradual process, and it's a process that happens when there's any damage to the heart muscle. A common cause of heart failure is narrowing or clogging of the arteries that supply blood to the heart muscle. This is called coronary artery disease. With coronary artery disease, your heart muscle gets less oxygen and becomes weaker. Coronary artery disease can also cause a heart attack that leaves scar tissue on your heart. If this happens, the heart muscle becomes stiff and can't pump as well. Another cause of heart failure is high blood pressure. High blood pressure makes the heart work harder to pump blood to your body. Over a long period of time, the heart becomes thicker than normal and the extra work can wear out your heart. Other causes include heart valve problems, heart defects at birth, or drug or alcohol abuse, and sometimes the cause is unknown. Any condition that weakens or damages the heart can start the process of heart failure. I didn't think I'd be dealing with heart failure at my age, so I was really surprised at first. But I've had really great treatment, and my husband, he supports me a lot. With some simple changes, I've really learned to manage my symptoms. I've had heart failure for 15 years, and I know what to do with my diet, medicines, walking every day, and I have a pretty decent life. I decided long ago not to let heart failure control me if I could help it. So I'm taking good care of myself. Heart failure symptoms can range from mild to severe. We'll work together to help you carefully manage your heart failure so symptoms don't get severe. Because if they do, heart failure can limit your activity and reduce your quality of life. Heart failure symptoms are caused because fluid builds up in the body or because not enough oxygen is getting to body tissues. The most common symptom is shortness of breath, the feeling that you can't get a complete breath. When it's mild, it might happen only when you're exercising or doing harder activities. When it's severe, it can be difficult to get a good breath even when you're resting or sleeping. Another symptom is fatigue, feeling more tired than usual. Shortness of breath and fatigue can make everyday activities like climbing stairs, walking, and carrying groceries more difficult. You have good days and bad days, and you just need to listen to your body. Rest when you need to, but do what you feel comfortable with every day. I tell myself, don't give up and don't overdo it. I pace myself, and that helps. If fluid builds up in your body, it can cause symptoms such as weight gain, swollen ankles or feet, or bloating in your belly. Fluid buildup can also limit your appetite or make you feel nauseated. Weight gain is a key sign of fluid buildup, so that's why we'll have you track it every day. Heart failure is a chronic condition that in most cases won't go away. Heart failure can range from mild to severe, and people respond differently to treatment. For some people, heart failure gets worse over time, passing through stages. At stage A, heart failure hasn't developed yet, but you have several conditions that can lead to heart failure. At stage B, your heart isn't as effective, but you don't have symptoms. This includes people with heart valve disease or a history of heart attack. At stage C, symptoms such as fatigue and feeling short of breath usually occur when you're active. At stage D, heart failure symptoms can be severe and they happen even while you're at rest. The focus of stage A is to treat risk factors and prevent progressive disease. At stages B and C, with the proper treatment and lifestyle changes, many people with heart failure find that their heart failure symptoms improve. Most people with heart failure can have a good quality of life if they properly manage their condition through medications, regular physical activity, checking your weight daily, a diet that's low in salt and fluids, and recognizing and managing symptoms. I was miserable at first. My ankles were swollen, I didn't have energy, but I am so much better now. I take my pills, I've changed what I eat, I walk the dog, and I feel pretty good. I'm back to most of the things I love to do. 
Also, I learned how important it is to continue taking my heart medications, even when I'm feeling better. If you stop them without the direction of your team, your heart function may get worse.